This is not the right strategy. For two and a half years, a peace process was in place. Negotiations were ongoing. If both sides had complied, Turkey wouldn't be facing such a wave of violence. Instead of resorting to military action against the PKK, the government should have continued the dialogue. The PKK would have disarmed once it was resolved. But surely it was, it was the PKK which broke the ceasefire, which broke the peace process by launching attacks on Turkish policemen over the last few days, on Turkish security forces. It was the PKK that broke the ceasefire, wasn't it? We must consider the sad result rather than who did what first. Armed attacks against police, soldiers and civilians are unacceptable. Both sides, the government and the PKK, must go back to a ceasefire. But we believe dark forces are provoking things, all to break the ceasefire. These forces could be affiliated to the governing party, which is using it as an excuse for an operation against the PKK. But none of this excuses the violence, which we denounce. What do you believe Turkey's aim is in these airstrikes? Is Turkey going after so-called Islamic State, or is it just using that as a cover for going after the real enemy, which is the PKK? The operation against IS is for show. Turkey's government is not conducting a serious battle against IS. There are active IS members here and houses where people are recruited. Under the impression of battling IS, Kurdish forces are being targeted. The government is trying to get rid of its image of being linked to IS. Is the peace process between Turkey and the PKK over? The peace process has hit a serious obstacle, but we shouldn't say it's over or there won't be further talks. It can stall, it can be interrupted, but we should keep our faith in peace. We can't let go of that. There is now this project underway to create a safe zone in northern Syria near the Turkish border, free of IS militants. Do you welcome that? And what do you think the government's real aim is in, in creating that buffer zone? Turkey doesn't intend to target IS with this safe zone. The Turkish government was seriously disturbed by Kurds trying to create an autonomous state in Syria. President Erdogan said he would never let this happen and that he would intervene whatever the cost. So the safe zone is intended to stop the Kurds, not IS. In fact, Turkey should work with Kurdish forces to create this area. They should collaborate. What is your message to Kurds in Turkey at the moment? Kurds in Turkey have given a strong message that we want to live together peacefully in Turkey, but we want freedom and democracy too. The government should respond to this positively.